We now learn how to find the inverse function of a function that involves square roots. And we're going to do so working through some examples. The first example we have here, we're given the function defined as f of x equals to the square root of x, and we're asked to find an expression for its inverse function. Well, I'll start by moving this question to the side just to make a little bit of space, like so. And let me copy the function that we're dealing with at the top of the page. So that was f of x equals to the square root of x. Now to find the inverse function, we follow the same method as we would for most functions, and that is a two-step method. The first step, step one, we start from the equation y equals to the square root of x, and our goal is to make x the subject in this equation. Well, looking at this equation, we can see that the x is underneath a square root on the right-hand side. So we need to get rid of that square root. And to do that, we raise both sides of this equation to the power of 2. In other words, we square both sides. So that would be y squared equals to the square root of x squared. Now, on the right-hand side, this square root and this power of 2 cancel each other out, leading us to y squared equals to x. In other words, x equals to y squared. And that's our first step done. We've now made x the subject. We move on to step two, and in step two, we start from the result we just found, which was x equals to y squared, and we swap x and y. In other words, x turns into y, and y turns into x. So that would be y equals to x squared. And at this stage, we're done. The expression that we now have on the right-hand side of this equation is the inverse function of f. So we can state the final answer as inverse function of f equals to x squared. And that's the final answer. Let's look at another example. Again, we're given a function which is defined as f of x equals to the square root of 2x minus 3. And once more, we need to find an expression for its inverse function. Again, I'll start by moving this question to the side, like so, and I'll just copy the function at the top of the page. So that was f of x equals to the square root of 2x minus 3. Now, to find the inverse function, we follow the same two steps. Remember, those were step 1. We start from the equation y equals to the square root of 2x minus 3, and we need to rearrange this to make x the subject. Well, looking at this equation, we can see that the x is on the right-hand side and that it's underneath this square root. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of this square root by raising both sides of the equation to the power of 2. In other words, we square both sides. That would be y squared equals to the square root of 2x minus 3, all of which is squared. Now this square root and this power of 2 cancel each other out, which leads to y squared equals to 2x minus 3. We now see on the right-hand side that x is being multiplied by 2 and that we're subtracting 3 from that result. So let's start by getting rid of this 3 here, which is being subtracted, and to do so, we add 3 to both sides. So that would be y squared plus 3 equals to 2x minus 3 plus 3. But now on the right-hand side, we have a 3 that's being subtracted and a 3 that's being added. And those two operations cancel each other out, so we can cross out the 3s, which leaves us with y squared plus 3 equals to 2x. We now see on the right-hand side that x is being multiplied by 2. So to get rid of this 2, we divide both sides of the equation by 2. That would be y squared plus 3 over 2 equals to 2 times x over 2. On the right-hand side, we now see that x is being both multiplied and divided by 2. Since those two operations cancel each other out, we can cross out these 2s. And we're now left with y squared plus 3 over 2 equals to x, or x equals to y squared plus 3 over 2. And that's our first step done. We've now made x the subject. We move on to step two, 
And in step two, remember, we start from the expression we just found, which was x equals to y squared plus 3 over 2, and we swap the x and the y. In other words, x becomes y and y becomes x. So that leads to y equals to x squared plus 3 over 2. And at this stage, we're done. The expression on the right-hand side here is the inverse function of f. So we can now state the final answer as inverse function of f is equal to x squared plus 3 over 2. And that's the final answer. Let's look at one last example. Again, we're given a function which is defined as f of x equals to 2 times the square root of x minus 4. And we need to find an expression for its inverse function. As always, I'll start by moving the question to the side. There we go. And I'll just copy the function at the top of the page. So that's f of x equals to 2 times the square root of x minus 4. Now, to find the inverse function, we follow the same two-step method again. Remember, that was step 1. We start from the equation y equals to 2 times the square root of x minus 4. And we need to rearrange this to make x the subject. Well, looking at the right-hand side here, we can see that x is underneath a square root that's being multiplied by 2 and that we're subtracting 4 from that result. So let's start by getting rid of this 4 that's being subtracted. And to do that, we add 4 to each side. So that would be y plus 4 equals to 2 times the square root of x minus 4 plus 4. Now, on the right-hand side, we can see that we're subtracting 4 and adding 4. Since those two operations cancel each other out, we can get rid of those altogether. And we're now left with y plus 4 equals to 2 times the square root of x. We now see on the right-hand side that the square root of x is being multiplied by 2. So to get rid of that 2, we divide both sides of the equation by 2, which leads to y plus 4 over 2 equals to 2 times the square root of x over 2. We now see on the right-hand side that the square root of x is being both multiplied by 2 and divided by 2. And since those operations cancel each other out, we can get rid of those 2s, which leaves us with y plus 4 over 2 equals to the square root of x. Now on the right-hand side, we can see that x is underneath the square root, so we need to get rid of that. And to do that, we need to raise both sides of the equation to the power of 2. In other words, we square both sides of the equation. So that would be y plus 4 over 2, all of which is in parentheses, squared equals to the square root of x squared. Now on the right-hand side, this square root and this power of 2 cancel each other out. So that leaves us with y plus 4 over 2 in parentheses squared equals to x. In other words, x equals to y plus 4 over 2 in parentheses squared. And that's our first step done. We've now made x the subject. We move on to step 2. And in step 2, remember, we start from the expression we just found. That was x equals to y plus 4 over 2 squared. And we swap the x and the y. In other words x becomes y and y becomes x. So that would be y equals to x plus 4 over 2 in parentheses squared. And at this stage, if we wish to, we could stop and state that this is the inverse function of f. And indeed, stating that the inverse function of f is equal to x plus 4 over 2, all of which is squared, would be an acceptable answer. But we could also carry on a little further and open up these parentheses. Indeed, we can state that the inverse function of f is equal to x plus 4 on the numerator squared over 2 squared. And that's equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16 over 4. And that's the inverse function of f. And that's the final answer. And that's it for this tutorial. 